take a look at this world's largest blood python. She is seven and a half feet long. This is an albino blood python. It's a short and fat python from Malaysia and Indonesia. And later today, I'm actually getting the largest one on record. That's right, a world record size animal. These guys typically don't get much more than four to five foot long. The one I'm getting is well over six foot long. The biggest blood python in the world. Speaking of pythons, my pie golden child motley reticulated python Neo is getting an upgrade today. She is absolutely one of my favorite snakes. Super good temperament, and absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so happy that she's finally getting an upgrade. upgrade. But first, we have some baby colubrids hatching. Yes, still hatching season. These are actually just little rat snakes, which are really cool, little Texas rat snakes. And you can see right here, look at this little head right there. These are actually leucistic Texas rats. This whole clutch here is leucistic Texas rat. Now, there's potential for leucistic Texas rats that are scaleless in this clutch, too. So we could get some scaleless white leucistic Texas rats, but look at how cool these snakes are. These are some of the snakes that I actually bred when I was only like 17 years old, so they're really nostalgic to me, and I love seeing them hatch. Attention, Connie, meet the vlog. Vlog, meet Connie. Have you met Lucy, Connie? Yes. Have you met her poopies, Connie? No, not she, her poopies. No. She has not met the poopies. You're gonna need this weapon. This here is a high caliber, very deadly. What's it called? Oh. Pondo Vecto. Pondo. See those big old floating logs? Yeah. Grab them with your hand, throw them in the trash. Can I glove my hand? No. What if it gets under my nail? Bad with the glove, because the water gets in the glove, and then you got <laughs> water attached to the glove. I, and didn't, I didn't think about it like that. We'll protect you a little bit. You forgot to try again. Private. Don't we say private? And then take a look at these right here, scaleless corn snakes. This is actually a scaleless crimson corn snake right here, which is basically just a hypo Miami scaleless, right? Absolutely beautiful right there. And then look at these right here. These are actually aneurythristic scaleless scaleless corn snake. Probably my favorite of all the scaleless mutations, to be totally honest with you, are the anneries, because they've got that silver, beautiful look to them. This one is super cool. Look at the striping down its back like that. Wow, that thing is cool. Scaleless corn snakes are absolutely wonderful. It's always cool to be hatching stuff. Not many eggs left, and we'll be done hatching for the season. And before long, all these snakes behind me go into brumation. <laughs> You didn't grab the turd yet. I'm going to. So reach down. Oh God, everyone's a critic. Oh my God. Uh, she did it. What an idiot. <laughs> Wait, why am I an idiot? You told me to do it like this. <laughs> I said I wanted a glove. You're not even trying to protect. This is not even moving. Yeah, if she nails me in the head, there's you, nothing you're, not you're gonna you're do about that. She's watching me. You're doing cool. really well for having no big old turds in your hand. <laughs> Thank you. It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> what do you mean? Update on Tyson. So we're gonna do a little feeding with him through here. Out. So as you can see, obviously he's getting big. We've had him for just over a year now. Crippled in size, it feels like. Even though it doesn't seem like it. Every day, sit here, do a little piece by piece. Here you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> he's so cute. I can't wait till I can just like give him a cup of worms and I'll just sit there and eat them all. But until then, hope you missed. There it is. Just piece by piece. Here you go, buddy. Hello? Okay, yeah, I'll be right down. All right, so Jessica actually said that we have to go downstairs because there's actually something really cool that is just hatching. Oh, no. ah! Ah! I told you, you protect She's me. mad, she's mad. This is like Harry Potter. Stick it in there. Don't oh. touch me with your poopy hands. <laughs> I touched him with my poopy hands. Ah! Michael, stop poking the bear. You're not a bear, she's a snake. I feel like we're really bonding. Ah! Take an apple. Whoa, man. Close up his leg. Oh. Is that a tapeworm? I've seen a lot of tapeworms. That's a tapeworm 100%. 100%. Are you serious? Look at it. I'm zooming in. That's varicose vein. That's zooming no, in. No, that's, that's a tapeworm. That's why he's so many cheeseburgers. And baby snakes aren't the only thing that's hatching. What do we got, Jessica? A little lychee. Another Yay. little lychee. I tell you what. This is how many lychees have we got so far? So this will be the fifth one. Fifth one. Of course, they come in pairs. So this one should be hatching pretty soon, too. Look at this little guy. Hey, little buddy. Welcome to the world. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? Yeah, it is. It's really a pretty one. Isn't that amazing? It's so little. <laughs> That's so cool. I mean, it's been a dream of ours for probably the last five years to produce lychees. To finally produce them this year is absolutely incredible. And we have, again, five hatch. Six ones should be hatching anytime. And we still have a handful of eggs left. And hey, we might even get some more eggs. What do you think? Yeah, I think we will. Oh my God, it's so cool. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. So guys, after moving a few animals around to free up some space, we wanted to actually move Neo into something like this size. Lots of areas for it to climb fast spots. It's going to be really cool. Much bigger enclosure for sure. That's going to be amazing. But it does need a little bit sprucing up, so I'm going to get Jessica to have it fixed up, and then we'll move Neo in. Doesn't smell that much. Connie's really good at this. Way better than my Does it poop too? I agree. It was literally poop in the water. I think it's time for me to take Michael's position. Wakey, wakey. Oh, 
What's the matter? Everybody wants Mike's position. Man, take it. Just suck the poop off me. <laughs> what dingo teach you? I'm not doing it. Oh, oh she's ready. Ah! Oh, Johnny. Sorry. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm sorry. I love you. She's turning her head. I'll go that way. Adam, fill her up. Interestingly enough, we have some ball pythons that are hatching out. And this is one of another mystery animals that's bred just to a normal ball python. And really, I don't see a lot of the, the mystery gene, which we're probably gonna, by the way, call the Scooby gene because, you know, mystery, you know, machine. Anyways, Scooby gene, I think is what we're gonna call it. I don't really know if the cinnamons have it here. I don't really think that this is anything more than a pewter, but this animal here is definitely very unusual looking. So this is what I think is a pewter Scooby gene. So this would be a pastel, a cinnamon, and a Scooby gene because it certainly doesn't look like a normal normal pewter by any stretch. Very different looking snake. So I think we're starting to see some of the expression of the mystery genes and other things other than pinstripe, which is really awesome. But interestingly enough, that second look, look at the pattern on the belly of this animal right here. It almost looks like a yellow belly to some extent, but the truth is there's no yellow belly in any of the animals that we bred. So it can't be a yellow belly. I thought it was just a cinnamon, but when you look at the sides in the belly, no doubt that that mystery gene seems to be expressing itself there too. It's pretty cool that the Scooby gene is expressing itself in the cinnamon as well. Not only do we have the Scooby gene in pinstripes now. Now we have it in some other mutation, which means we could do all kinds of things with it. And take a look at this clutch that hashed out too. Just a bunch of really cool stuff. Looks like a super pastel pewter right here. And this one actually looks like a pewter banana right here. So it's a pastel, it's a cinnamon, and it's a banana. Love that gene. And then look at this. I love super cinnies right Basically here. Basically just all kind of blackish snakes. No pattern whatsoever. Unbelievably cool. A bunch of cool babies. I tell you what, we still have about 30, 40 clutches of ball pythons to hatch this year. I'm going to be so bummed when it's done, but that being said, we're about ready to start breeding in just about a month and a half. Why are you doing this to me? What have I ever done to you? What have I ever done to you? No, 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 Mike. You will only strike it here. Shakira, Shakira. You can just set the hose in there. I have to make some. I don't know. I didn't. I'm gonna have to. Okay, don't. Please don't. How old are you? How old am I? Not old enough to hold his bladder, apparently. Good job, Connie. Woo! Oh. We ain't touching this poop pain. I hate you guys. I'm so excited to see Neo get an upgraded cage. She's already outgrown the first cage we put her in, so this is gonna be great for her. Let's get started sprucing it up. for the fun part. This enclosure is gonna be so cool. Neo's gonna love it. So much opportunity to climb around and grow. Again, one day she's gonna be 15, 16 foot, but for the next year or so, she'll be able to stay in here easily and just kind of explore herself and look at how cool she looks already. She's actually just coming out of shed, so she's gonna shed in the next couple days. She's gonna look even better in here, but wow, she is just so cool. Having her in an enclosure like this really shows off her beauty. I can't wait to just sit back and just watch her for a little bit and see where she explores. It's gonna be amazing. Speaking of enclosures, we're going to get that enclosure cleaned up and bring a new animal over from BHB. And finally, my friends, Des and Steven are here and they brought me this absolutely gorgeous snake. I am so excited about this. She's actually in shed right now. Much beautiful when she's out of shed, but look at this beast of a snake. Des, how long have you had this girl? Oh my gosh, Brian, I don't even remember. Four or five years? Um, probably maybe? six years or so. Six she's years. Been with us a while. Biggest blood python in the world, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Amazing. And look at how docile she is. That's why I was so excited about it. So intense. Des asked me, was I interested in her? I was like, are you kidding me? I dreamt of owning this animal because she is such an amazing animal ambassador. Look at this snake right here. Can you believe this? This is a blood python. They rarely get over four and a half or five foot. This is a absolute beast. And to have it this docile too, this is gonna be a great animal ambassador. Guys, thank you so much You're for so entrusting welcome. me to have this. And uh, by the way, for people that don't know, Baby Kush, our croc monitor, is named after Stephen Kush. That's where the name came from. At least a 20 foot snake. Imagine the poops that thing is gonna lay. I didn't think about that. In actuality, when I said I thought she was six and a half foot long and I thought that was the world's record, turns out that this girl is seven and a half foot long. I have had some giant snakes and I've had some amazing animals, but this is the first world record snake that I've ever owned, which is absolutely amazing. Look at how beautiful she is. Now that we have Neil's cage all cleaned up and ready to go, I'm bringing over this animal, which is an absolute ripper. It's actually a boa, but it's an IMG boa bred to a leopard boa. And look at how iridescent it is. As these get older, that IMG is an increasing melon 
melon in jeans. So it's gonna get blacker and blacker as it gets older. Absolutely incredible now, but it's only gonna get better. Let's go ahead and put this guy in here. These guys will do a lot of climbing as well. So I think that they'll perch quite a bit. It's gonna enjoy the vertical side. And again, this isn't long term. This animal will one day get six foot or so. So again, this will go in here for maybe the next six months or something like that. But I think it's gonna absolutely love it. And it's a great addition to the reptarium. Oh, wow. no, no, no. no way, dude. Oh my God. Is that what I think it is, dude? It smells like it. Smell it. Oh, oh my God, we just almost got our Oh my goodness, stay still. Okay, we're good. All right. Maisie got really big. Put her back in though. Should we ask somebody first why they, all right, that's fine. Just take a fake. There you go, Maisie. God, that is ridiculous. My I mean, God, what'd they feed Maisie? Like a puppy? I don't know. What do you think? Here, hold it. What's the reaction you want? What do you mean what's the reaction I want? I just want to know if you like it or not. You want to no, hold, hold I do it. I not like it. You don't like it? I don't like blood pythons. Why? Well, hold this one. All of, no, I don't want to. Hold it around your neck. Hold it around your neck. I'll hold it around there. my neck. It's good. <laughs> so just pet it. Oh, blood pythons are so weird because they don't hang on. They just flop around. But isn't this thing cool? Is this a beast or what? It is huge and it's a blood python. So that's like not two not good things to put no, together. This is, no, this one's super tame. They've had it for years. It's never bit anyone. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. I knew you'd be excited. I am beyond excited to have a world record blood python. This thing is gonna be amazing and it'll be on display here in the next couple months at the Reptarium after we go through a little bit of a quarantine process. But this thing is amazing. I love the fact that we have it now. And that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, yeah, this is good. We don't really handle snakes too often around here.